Hello to all my friends out there. Hi, you guys. I'm back. One thing I used to pride myself on when I was a stylist is I showed up for work every single day. Maybe not in the best shape some days, but I did show up. So I hope everyone is doing okay. I have followers that are waiting for this video so they can do their dishes. You know, I follow people and I clean the kitchen and it is such a bummer when they don't do a video. I wanna mention my necklace. Okay, I sell jewelry, but the problem is, is I can't find the jewelry like I used to. And so this is an amber, necklace a lot of occultists like this stuff and so and and it kind of is like jade the energy of the person um kind of uh clings to it so uh this is not a very uh you know it's not um a highly skilled person that strung this but the beads are really kind of nice. The ones in the center are larger and then they go up to very small beads, lighter. And um, when you sell jewelry, somebody put a bid on that, this, but, it, and I'm selling it for $27, so it's really like a steal. And sometimes I don't mind selling this stuff if I get the feeling that the person really wants it. So um, I thought I would wear it in case it goes. And so um, it might be going, so if it goes, it goes. Okay, so this video is, I want to do everything I can now to make sure next year is good in case a recession hits. Okay, my whole life was a recession. Everything, everything, everything affects the hair trade. You know, if your husband loses his job, uh, if you are redecorating the house, if you go on vacation, if you get a divorce, all of that affects bar, uh, towards the end, I did mostly barbering. So I have some, uh, peppermint tea. So I thought I'm going to do a video and tell you guys what I do. In case, you know, one good idea is well worth the video. Okay, what is this? This is five bucks, you guys. These are really, really delicious tea cookies. And so, um, yeah, last night I made donuts, but I already had two donuts for breakfast. That's the problem with donut making. Now, where are those really tasty claw? There's only one left. These are so yummy. Yum. I don't know how they make them so delicious. That's why I paid five bucks for them. Everything is five bucks, 10 bucks, 15 bucks for the bird food. Last month, I spent a little extra money because I, you know, I purchased the birds and the bird stuff, and I bought new pots and pans, and so, you know, I spent a little bit more money than I generally do. All right, I want to mention something. In the state of California, it, was, it has been proposed that Governor Newsom is, is issuing each person $400 for the gas increase. So if we get it, I will gratefully receive it. Also, but on the other hand, there's just one other little thing, you know, they're trying to push through. And, and this is like a really bad thing. I'm not sure if this will possibly go through because this is really, really horrifying if this does. And what it is, is that you will pay, in addition to the, the taxes owed, an extra 25% on capital gains on real estate. And guess who is going into real estate? Yes. I go, oh, this is the, the job for me. Unless you hang on to your properties for seven years. 
And so that is the, uh, that is the idea behind that is that more houses will be affordable, ha, 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 for the general population. So now I want to mention something about apartments and large cities. You see the invasion in the Ukraine? You see how powerless the people are in those cities? So uh, that is one of the problems if we've always had with um, America is we were landowners and we had weapons. So this is, and also you notice how fast everyone can become the army. So um, I'm watching them very closely and I'm saying to myself, well, let's see, uh, I think it's time to make sure I hang on to as much as of my money until the end of the year as I possibly can. I want to do every possible, I mean, not misery making, but you know, so, okay, I'm, I am learning how to grocery shop drastically reduce now. And so what gave me the idea was this channel, Mean Queen Super Scrimper. It's not as easy as she makes it look. And what she does is she shops late at night to find drastically reduced items. Let me give you a shot of the channel name. I put one of her uh, videos on my Twitter. So uh, let's see. I said, okay, okay. That's why I've got such a late start tonight. I had pizza for dinner. I'm going to be making my own pizza after I eat the pizza, the frozen pizza. And I want to give you, uh, this is out of the, try to get one of these. I want to give you the pizza dough recipe. Here's right here. All of her stuff. It's right here. If you get a good recipe, maybe she's got a recipe for pretzels in here. If you get a good recipe, uh, she, you can make anything. Here's the, and she demonstrates through pictures. If you don't have, um, if you don't have a food processor, you're just going to have to do it by hand. Like in Italy, you guys. So, uh, you know, learning to make your own stuff. Um, okay, so I went out at night and I thought I'm going to find, and what she basically bought was fruit, vegetables, and bread in this one video. And she's a vegetarian and I go, yeah, you can live on that. I don't want to be a vegetarian, but I'm looking for fruit, vegetables, and bread. So, um, not yesterday, the day before I found a large bag of tomatoes and I made some marinara sauce. Uh, I haven't eaten this yet, but I did eat half of this. It made, this is one of those things. If you make this, you can make some minestrone soup. Um, let me give you my marinara sauce recipe. It's really easy to make. Oh no. Okay, here it is. Right here, I bought a bag of tomatoes and I made a batch of marinara sauce. Uh, I put salt, pepper, and sugar, and there's a little left. I'm just going to maybe uh, boil some pasta and put it in there, or else I might, um, I might just eat it like soup. It's very delicious. And it's everything in the stockpile, but I wanted to mention... If you stockpile these, you can make your marinara sauce. Uh, one good way is just put everything in the uh, crock pot. That's how I made the uh, fresh. I um, peeled my tomatoes first, but uh, you can just cook these down in the, um, the crock pot overnight and have a nice batch of marinara sauce. Uh, I think the best one is for pizza making would be this. This is delicious. I'm trying, I bought this at a discount shop, but I'm trying to find this and I can't find it. But as soon as I do, I will buy a case. So, okay, I was trying to, uh, I was trying to do it again tonight. And so what I was trying to do is I was trying to shop at nine o'clock. And that is not easy to do. Unless, like, you're a seasoned drastic shopper. But I did find something really, really awesome at Smart and Final. So even if you only find one or two of these deals, 
I bought this cheese for five bucks and I saved three dollars. How much is this? This is uh, two pounds. So I will cut it in four pieces and that is going to help me when I start making the pizza. Or probably the next thing I'm going to make is a lasagna. I'm going to take some um, homemade noodles. I gave you guys the uh, noodle recipe. Some marinara, some cheese, maybe some mushrooms. And Okay, so, so today for $4.99, I bought the cheese. So between the large bag of tomatoes, the large bag of red onions, the one bag of sweet potatoes, and the large bag of cheese, that was quite a bit of food. So now the mean queen of super scrimpers, she buys a food and she eats it all down. She buys a bag of tomatoes, she eats them down, which I think is a good idea, but I prefer to stockpile food today. I was scouring around, and I think I found the deal on oatmeal, 10 pounds for $10, Quaker Oats, is smart and final, because I'm looking for big, big bags of oatmeal. Okay, so now I want to prepare for Christmas little by little, and you might be thinking, I, I don't want to think about Christmas. It's too early for that, and I'm preparing for Thanksgiving, so what I do is I get a little box and I stockpile like a can of sweet potatoes, um, some olives, some pumpkin pie uh, mix, uh, some stuffing, stuff like that. And then it, you, if you just save $5 a week, or if you're one of these people that likes to uh, spend a thousand, save uh, $20 a week, and that's a good way you can get your emergency fund. And if you don't want to spend it at Christmas time. So uh, one of the things that I'm going to be buying is spices. Because when I went to buy some ginger, ground ginger, I can't easily find it. It's just the biggest hassle. I've been to like three or four stores. And so I'm going to be buying all the spices I need. One of the spices I'm going to be buying, a big one, is cinnamon. Okay, work. Oh, I want to mention. So today... Hi, sweetie pie. Sweetie pie wants to say, I bought these small candle holders, and mainly I bought these for Christmas, and these are not in pristine condition, and I usually don't buy items that aren't in pristine condition, but if I do find some, because I wanted some uh, gold candlesticks, these are larger, and I put them by one of my uh, paintings in the living room, and I liked it much better than what I had. And then I move my other candlesticks into the dining room, so my home decor is coming along a little bit at a time. Uh, those cost $14 or four. If I find better ones, I, I know I can sell them at the swap meet for one or two dollars and get a little of my money back. So everything I buy, I want to get my money back. Okay. So work on home decor little by little and try to find things in a thrift store. So what I'm working on now is the kitchen. So you saw the knives I bought. Where are the knives I bought? $4.50. Uh, I'm working on the uh, cooking and then, you know, I, I got organized kind of, sort of. Okay, so today I was at the thrift store, so I bought the candlesticks, but I also bought this big spoon, because you can never have too many, and I bought five iced teaspoons. The sixth one was kind of beat up, and these are nice because when you need them, you can never find them. I don't know what it is about iced teaspoons. The first time I realized I couldn't e easily find them, I almost wanted to lose my mind. Now, if I find them cheap, I just buy them all. I bought them for 25 cents each, and I can easily sell them. Okay, I'm working on uh, clothes for 10 years. Coats and shoes. So, say, pants, uh, shirts three, pants two, shoes one, sweater uh, one, coat one. So, on the shirts, pants, and shoes, you would go times four, and then times ten. So you might go, well, that'd be too expensive and too hard. No, it is not. Okay, I mentioned to you I was going to buy 
closed for 10 years. So the other day, these are nice pants. They're, they're like jeans, but they're not jeans. And I thought they were a white tag, so they were super cheap. And then it just so happened, I had this blouse and that is good enough. And in anticipation of the real estate thing, I had bought these shoes cheap. And then I've been buying lamb's wool jackets and sweaters. So, you know, um, the main thing is, is your job is controlling a large asset with a small amount of money, buying the low market value so that you can pay 25% capital gains. <laughs> I'll cross that bridge when I come to it. Okay, so that, that's how you would do the clothes for 10 years. I'll show you in a minute. Number five, work on evacuation all the time. So one thing to do is figure out how you could come up with a little box of food, just like 30 days worth of food. It could be tuna, it could be peanut butter, it could be crackers, you know, just if you work on it a little bit all, at all times, then you're going to get it together and it's not going to be a big deal. Another thing is you want to make sure, you know, your car is maintained or if you have a plan of how you would, this Ukraine thing shows you how important an evacuation plan is. And I'm working on car dwelling. Today I was in my car until 1030 at night because I was trying to find good deals. And all I found was a crummy block of cheese. But that's not the point. Once I figure out how to do this, I will tell you. And then, you, Or the best thing to do is start figuring out how to do it. Like this woman, Mean Queen Super Scripper. I think she's, uh, I think she's in England or somewhere. And she's been doing it for many years. And it looks very simple. But it's not simple. But I'm working on that. Consider selling used items on eBay, such as this lovely necklace. This actually is a lovely necklace. Uh, or the swap meet. That's my main job, but the COVID has slowed me down on that. So if you do an estate sale, one of the most valuable things is your kitchen. And think about all the things you have in your kitchen. I, I bought two dehydrators at the thrift store. That's the kind of stuff I'm looking for. And eventually, you know, I can sell them when I'm done with them. So I'm looking for uh, kitchen items, coats, shoes. And I saw the same guy in two different uh, thrift stores on two different days. And he had a, a shopping cart full of kids' shoes. So what there is, is there's like, um, you have a day where your, your items are like a white tag. So I assume he was buying all the kids' shoes. He must sell them somewhere or give them away. So I might consider kids. I buy kids' coats. And then I would sell those sometime when around school uh, starts. Or if the church I go to has a thrift store, I could donate them. Okay, seven, buy some grains. Okay, we might see a big increase in grains because of this Ukrainian crisis. The Ukrainian WAR. So... Today, I found these. These weren't cheap, but I thought I'm going to buy one anyway and start coming up with some vegetarian food, like some barley soup. Uh, and so there would be barley and wheat. Wheat would be like flour. And I was influenced by Ellen's Abundant Life. And I, so from now on, after I eat my 50 pounds of flour, I'm going to buy bread flour. Believe me, it goes down fast when you bake bread all the time. Corn and cornmeal. So I bought 25 pounds of cornmeal so I can make cornbread. And I'm going to be having beans every week or so just to kind of get used to them. And then, you know, I was searching around for the oatmeal. Oh, I didn't give you a shot of this so you can take a screenshot if you wish. The, the thing is, is even knowing them is helpful, but when you start doing them, like you go, yeah, 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 I know that. And then when you try to go out and get drastically reduced food, it's not that easy. For one thing, I don't think I'm on the right day. So I'm going out pretty much every night 
and I'm exerting a lot of effort on this until I figure out how to do it. Work on some non-food items to stockpile like medicines. Uh, today there was no uh, Tylenol, but I bought one box of sleeping pills. Medicines, bars of soap. I um, posted a good video on my Twitter for you guys to see. And so I was thinking the thing to do is think about all the non-food items. Uh, aluminum foil seems to be a big deal. SOS pads were a big deal. Hairspray was a big deal. I looked like hell for like two, three days because I had no hairspray. And then I want to find bottles of iodine. So if you get a big cut or a gash, you're going to put that iodine in there. So go to my Twitter and there's a really good uh, video on there. A guy uh, talking about how to uh, take care of slash, you know, like cuts and stuff. Uh, plants. Aloe vera. Okay, I wasn't thinking about how important aloe vera might be, so I pulled my aloe vera plant up and threw it in the dumpster. So now I gotta get another one. Candles. Okay, I can see how those could be really, really important. What I do is I burn candles all the time, but when they get too beat up, I just save them and I throw them in a box and I throw them in my garage and I try to not to think about them. But if something happened, you know, if the power was down clothes dish detergent laundry detergent and dish detergent so i have two big bags of roma detergent but i like at least three at all times also gallons of oil three to six of those you don't want to run out i, I was looking at the corn oil today it's not too bad yet a uh, feminine products those were one of the things that were so miserable in the ukraine and water so today i uh, figured out how to do the water refill at the walmart it is actually easier than the kiosk because you just fill your water and then you pay at the little kiosk okay work on a cash reserve then one of the best ways to do that you don't need a lot of cash but you do need some is save your change so i have a little container up here and I just put change and then I try to save a dollar a day. And then put a little extra money in there for gas because now gas, it costs $50 to uh, fill my tank now. But no fear we're getting $400. So that will pay for eight tanks of gas. So a little extra for gas. So let's say if you save $30 in one month, that could help if you need gas. Okay, consider planting a garden. Even if you live in a place where all you have is a window seal, I showed you guys. Look how much this thing has grown. Just change the water every day. I have about three, um, three celery, yeah, three celery plants, three lettuce plants, and four green onions that I just harvested out of my, uh, you know, when I, and they don't have roots, but they grow just fine. Okay, so now start harvesting the seeds out of your food. So, like, if you're one of these people who's evacuating out of the Ukraine, going to who knows where, and you have a bag of seeds, and you're with like 300,000 evacuees, those seeds could be very valuable for your survival. Okay, consider trying to plant a garden. Okay, now I have some, some little bonus tips. Save newspapers and flyers, and pick up extra ones when you get a chance. They mail them to the houses out here. Why? Just in case for toilet paper. Imagine you're in the Ukraine. Just throw them somewhere and just put them out of your mind. You're going to be very glad if, if something bad happens. Accept all freebies. And if you see something by a dumpster that you could use, grab it. I grabbed quite a few things. You guys saw them. Make everything homemade, like homemade pizza. Once you make it for a while, it's going to be better than any pizza you can buy out. Uh, what I did is I bought a big bag of salami for like $6.99. That's going to make tons of pizza. And then, you know, two, I bought about 
um, it would be two and a half pounds of cheese and I have cheese. Avoid eating out and eat all your leftovers. So you, you might be thinking, yeah, I don't want to eat my leftovers. Well, what you do is you wait until you get really hungry and then, you know, they taste pretty good. If you get used to habitually doing this stuff, at the beginning of next year, you're going to be in so much better shape. You know, I used to work with these people. And I was always, I was cheating, this, that. I'm, that you guys work next to me every blasted day. I don't go to the casino at, I do go to the casino if I can. But what I do is, I play jacks are better. And so, you know, if you're not a wild poker player, you're not going to lose that much. I can pay for days and weeks and months and I never lose money. Okay, keep all your glass jars and your uh, yogurt containers. Your yogurt containers can be used to plant seeds. And then start keeping stuff in your uh, glass jars. Okay, now today I spent $1.08 at McDonald's at $0.99. Cents. At $0.99 cent only, all these, what I, this gives me, I have a record of every penny I've spent for the last 30 days. And so what I did is I bought two toiletries. Foil is $1.49 for 25 or 15 feet. It's getting really expensive. That's one of those things. Sleeping pills, they don't help, but a one dish soap and sponges. So I needed all those. So that $7 was legitimate. Then I bought two Cokes while I was shopping around for hours. $2.16 at the um, Salvation Army. I bought the spoons for $1.50 and the candlesticks for $14. So those might be considered totally unnecessary. And what I did is I left and I thought, wait a minute, those are nicer than yours and you don't might not be able to find anything by next year. So I went back and got them. Smart and find a large cheese, $4.99. That was a real bargain. If you have good cheese and you have marinara sauce and you have some uh, good spices and you don't have any meat, SOS pads at Walmart, barley and a refilled water for 87 cents. Two more things. Okay, when I make granola, I have all kinds of like dollar honey that is really honey syrup. And you can also make uh, the granola with a half a cup of, of uh, maple syrup. I just use pancake syrup. But I have some old uh, pancake syrup that's been in there for a while. So this week when I make the granola, usually I make um, three cups of, of oatmeal, uh, three cups of, say, uh, two cups nuts, and one cup of, of dry fruit or... A coconut and then I mix I heat the it can be caro syrup one of the followers said I have some of that that needs to be used too so you make this granola you heat the the say the half a cup of honey and add one teaspoon of cinnamon and you pour it over the six cups of oatmeal you know any combinations you have it's a good way to clear your freezer out of a few nuts a few raisins and then you just bake it at 350 and then I eat it in the middle of the night with half and half. So you might be thinking you're going to get very fat. That's true, but that's what I do for now until I have to go on one of these drastic diets again. And then I stockpiled this. This is butter flavored syrup that I got at Walmart when it used to be cheap. And I bought this for a dollar, so... Those are good things to consider stockpiling. Okay, you guys, I will see you tomorrow. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And God bless you all.